All right, now we come to the good stuff, which is replacing this front strip, which um, is sort of the most difficult piece of refurbing a Bum Genius diaper, but certainly doable. So hopefully I can show you how in a good manner. But um, So on the 3.0 version, you'll see there's going to be a single row of stitching, uh, top stitching, towards the edge of the front of the diaper. So what you're going to have to do is pick all of those stitches out because what we want to do is open this edge up. On the 2.0 version there's actually two rows of stitching that you need to take out uh, in order to open the front diaper, front of the diaper. Uh, so you're just going to want to be kind of careful and I pick from inside towards the outside of the diaper so that I don't snag the PUL. Okay, now that we've ripped out the front top stitching, we need to turn the diaper inside out and open up the stitching on the inside. Um, one thing I did want to kind of note is um, somewhere along the way uh, during the production of the 3.0s, this is what I've noticed anyways, I've done quite a number of these, is um, instead of this insert stopper being a separate piece from this front piece of PUL, what they did is actually this is one continuous piece and they've kind of folded it in the middle and uh, searched it on the inside um, so instead of again it being two separate pieces that just open up it's actually one piece that's folded over and I'm not gonna know that until I go in and start ripping it apart so it, it's great it would be great if it were two separate pieces um, but if it's one piece, it's not a big deal. What I've done before, I'll, I'll show you if indeed this is a more recent version of the 3.0. Uh, the 2.0 does not have this issue, so to speak. It is still two separate pieces. So once you've taken out this top stitching and taken out the stitching on the inside, it's, you'll see it open up nicely. So this is going to be a fun surprise. Okay, so I've turned the diaper inside out. And um, what you're going to see when you do that is a whole bunch of surging on the edge. Um, that's all going to have to come off. And it's going to look like a lot of thread, <laughs> but don't worry. Um, obviously, it won't be put back after we've done this. Uh, you are going to obviously stitch it closed. But um, what I believe this is for is they surge it just to get the two pieces together. Um, and so they, they then turn it and top stitch it. So again, this is all going to come out, all of this stitching. You can just run your seam ripper down it. Um, it's going to come off. I'm going to do the first little bit here just to see what we have in terms of whether or not these are two separate pieces. Okay, so I've ripped a little bit of the stitching off, and lo and behold, it's one piece. So, <laughs> um, this stitching all still needs to come out. And another thing I wanted to show you about the construction is you'll see this vinyl uh, flap piece that they have. is usually used for the snap reinforcement. Um, so there's another piece of stitching that holds the vinyl onto the PUL, so that's going to have to come off as well. Because we actually need to get in, um, in here to access the front loop strip. Uh, so again, every single piece of stitching that you see <laughs> uh, on the inside here needs to be taken off. 
Yay, success. So um, again, here's that piece of vinyl or nylon. Actually, I'm not sure which it is. And we've opened it up. And you can see the snaps sort of stop it. But here's the uh, stitching for that front loop strip. Um, and so now we need to take that off. And um, you can either go in from the back here and uh, rip the stitches out. Or you can probably also do it on the front of the diaper. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, so I mean really you could go either way. It might be safer to do it from the front. And then um, in terms of, you know, less likely to rip the PUL, so go in from this way and take the stitches out. So just take this front strip off. Okay, so I've gone and I've removed all the top stitching as well as I've removed um, all the serging that's on the inside and have discovered that this particular diaper is one piece, uh, the front strip as well as the body of the diaper. So I have to uh, cut down the seam in order to open it up to do uh, to put the velcro on. So I'll take my little scissors and uh, do a little snip here on the end and you'll see there's a crease right in the middle that's exactly where you want to cut it. You don't want to cut it close to either edge um, because as you go to close the diaper back up after you're done it just makes it very difficult to get this nice seam back again so very important to cut in the middle Okay. I'll actually, after I got that little hole to get it started, I'll actually open it up. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> turn it inside out and cut along the seam that way because it's easier for me to see it when it's uh, on the inside. Okay, now that I've got the uh, front open, I'm going to go ahead and cut the uh, hook strip that goes on the front. Uh, so what you could do is measure what you took off and go ahead and cut that same size. I would actually probably add maybe a quarter to half an inch to that just to make sure you're covering up the stitch holes that you see when you take it off. Uh, I usually do around nine and a half to ten inches. I think in this particular case I'm just going to go nine and a half. So I'm going to make it nine and a half inches long. But also what I want to do is I want to mark the exact center of it, uh, which at nine and a half would be four and three quarters inches. I'm just going to do one mark. So what I want to do is line the center of this loop strip with the center rise snap, and so that I can get it as close to centered as possible.